Hello everyone. So we'll be starting with lead code problems and this the first data structure that we'll be looking at is arrays. Now arrays is the most fundamental data structure that you will learn because arrays is used in a lot of algorithms and like searching and sorting algorithms. Now we will also be covering other topics such as strings, um, DP, um, graphs, trees, greedy algorithms and so on. Uh, but uh, you know, we'll go step by step. The path that we are going to follow is, is going to be the same. First, we will solve a few easy level questions, then, we will solve a few medium level questions. I will not be doing hard level questions that I will um, keep for you. Um, if you are able to solve a medium level question in 10 to 15 minutes, then uh, you can try hard level question. Um, and uh, if you want to try some other platform, you can go to Code Forces. You can get your problems based on the rating of the, you no, know, rating of the problem. Now, um, we will be starting with the first easy level question. You can find uh, arrays in the problem section. Go to problems. Uh, in here, you can find array here, or you can search from topics or uh, lists okay now uh we'll go to here and i will it is taking longer than expected yeah so we'll be starting with easy level questions okay and that the first question is build array from permutation now, uh, okay, I've already solved this. Okay, never mind. So the first question that we'll be looking at is a very simple one. Uh, all you need is, uh, uh, you know, the prerequisite would be you should know how to initialize an array. You should know how to use a for loop, and you should know a bit about functions, like what kind of function returns what kind of value, how to give the return type, and all. Okay. Um, okay, let's move on to the problem now. The problem says that you are given an array nums, okay, it has some values. Now, um, what you can do here is, uh, they're asking is you have to create a new array answer for which for each index i, the answer's value should be nums of nums of i. That is, let's say you want to find answer of 1. Okay, so answer of one zero one. Okay, so at the first index, you will find nums of nums of one. So nums of one that is zero one. Nums of one is two, and so this value comes as two. Now nums of two that is zero one two that is one. So an answer of one that is equals to one. So answer of one that is equals to one. Okay. Um, I think uh, that is enough for that. Um, if you have any doubt, still you can go back and uh, you know you can try with diagram as well. Okay, so let's start with the coding part. We'll start with initialization of array. Okay, and the length will be same as the given array nums. Now next we will iterate through our nums array. Okay, and in the logic part, what we'll do is we'll simply copy this given logic here. Okay, and we'll copy and paste this here. It is that simple. Okay, and at the end, we will simply return our answer array. If I submit this, so yeah, so it is that easy. Now, let's go to C now. Now C++ and Java, they share a lot of uh, similar syntax with related to loops and uh, everything. I'll show you, okay. Um, we'll copy this Java logic. We'll go to C++ and I'll paste this here. The only difference that's going to be is the initialization of our array. 
Okay. Now, if you can see the another difference is uh, in Java, we have nums dot length to get the size of or length of an array. But in C plus plus, we have size function. Okay. So I have changed nothing. That's the only change in C plus plus and Java for this problem. And if I solve, uh, I'm sorry, if I submit this, um, oops, sorry about that. I forgot. I keep on forgetting that. Hmm. Yeah. So it's done. It's that simple. So, you know, this was the most basic question. We will go on. As we move ahead, we will encounter difficult level questions. Okay. Um, let me know if you also want me to solve any other problems from any other website or uh, you have any query related to any other problem on like coding ninjas or uh, code forces or code chef, any other thing. Okay. For the time being, we'll only focus on lead code. Maybe in the future, we may also cover a few problems from code forces. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's it from this video and uh, we'll meet in the next one. Bye-bye.